<laughs> they freaking the dude's still awake he's moving Oh, what's going on, this is Johnny, and welcome to Real Stories from the Grave, Volume 1. Listen, it's already sounding like this is going to be a nutty game because of the sound effects and the main menu. I hear rope. Okay, are we an archer? Archerer? Don't know. We're going to find out together, shall we? What is this? Hello? Oh, it's crackly. I thought that was my audio, but it's not. It's definitely the game. Okay. What is this thing? Is this a body? It's a small body. Is it a little person? It's gotta be a little person, right? That make only, that the, that's the only thing that makes sense. Okay, so we need to be killed somebody, it looks like. Right? The only thing I'm getting so far from this. Put in Trump. Put body in Trump. Got it. I think I did it. Okay, do we have to get, have to get in the truck now? Or the, the van? We do. Okay, so so far we killed somebody. And then now we're putting it in our trunk. And now we gotta go get gas? The person there. Okay. Hello. Hey, dude, are you okay? You look so pale. Really? Have you, have you looked in the mirror li lately? Because, uh, bruh. Bruh, you look, uh, you look pale, dude. We got hit E on this guy. Okay. I don't, I don't, I'm guessing I don't have to go in. I have to probably get gas, right? Yo, open fuel in. There we go. Make some water. Okay. All right, we're getting fuel. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta fill my gas tank up so when we take this body off to where we gotta go, we're ready to rock, dude. Also, if you guys are new here, make sure make sure you guys do the YouTube thing, like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends, man. Appreciate you if you have already done that. Okay, we got a field up car. We got a body in the trunk. We got a dude with no face on. I think I'll we'll talk to him again, maybe. Pay for it or what did it say? I didn't. I didn't read that. Uh, be careful out there. Okay, so it looks like I think we might have just paid him. All right, and now we're back in the truck or the van, whatever you want to call it. Okay, now we got the woods. I'm assuming we're about to dump the body here. Grab body from the trunk. Okay, we have the body. We have the body. Guessing we just gotta take it into the woods. I have so many questions. Why am I a killer? Why am I doing this? My parents don't like me. Do I have any friends? Why is it black and white? But the body is all in color. That makes no sense to me. Why does that guy have no face? Why is he all pale? He has no skin. Don't make it makes no sense. If you guys are not having any clues as to what's going on, let me in the comments, because I'm 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 at a loss for words. The wind? Oh, we're at, a, we're at the water. It's gonna get in, okay. So wait, we're putting the body in the the body in the boat. We're putting the body in the boat. And then we're gonna get in the boat, maybe? Leave. Okay, I see it. We gotta go this way. Okay, so let me get this straight. We had a body. We put the body in the van, drove the van to a gas station. Filled the car up full of fuel. Okay, gas. Drove it to the woods. Took the body out of the trunk, put it in and then walked through the woods. Put the body in the freaking boat. Got in the boat. Now we're taking it to like a random lighthouse. Right? 
Or are we gonna like knock the body off? Also, that's a pretty big body. For not, that's not a that's not a little person. There's no way. Okay. We're good. We're, we're getting closer. So close. All right. Is that a person up there? Is that a monster? At the very, very bottom of the uh, lighthouse? I don't know. I have no idea what's happening. The freaking... The dude's still awake? He's moving! Okay. Bro, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't, I mean... I, you just gonna have to just live with it, I guess. Now... I'm taking it to this lighthouse, apparently. I don't know what's in the lighthouse, but you're gonna die. You're gonna die and you're gonna like it. Well, you're probably not gonna like it, but you're gonna die. How'd you get yourself in this situation, dude? Don't go, mm, I can, I can obviously hear you so you can make words. Unless you got tape on yourself, then, uh, well, can't help you there. I must have just knocked him out, maybe. Okay. Lay body on the table. Yes. Okay. Just a light. Can't go in here. We have to go up top, maybe? Oh my god, that's so creepy. Alright, up, up on the way. Uh, we hear you, dude. We, I know. I, and it's not a good time for you, and I understand that, but... There's a key right here. I see it. Okay. I got the key. I'm gonna guess it's the for the door downstairs. Go ahead and go down there. I hear you, dude. I know. Alright, listen. I'm not, I'm here for you. Not really, but I'm here for you. Wait, do I have to get the body again? Got body. Got it. Okay, pick the body back up. Enter. Is this where I keep my bodies? Huh? Is this where I keep my bodies that I've that I've killed? Am I just a mass murderer? The note? Oh, it is. September 12th, 1997. It was all my fault. Uh, January 11th, 1998. Except this job at the lighthouse. I can stay alone here. I missed them. Hey. Okay. What the fuck? March 20th, 1998. Edward told me about this doctor. Her name is Christine Willard. I will try to call her. What's happening? Where's that noise? March 23rd, 1998. The doctor said she can bring them back. I'm puzzled, but I have no choice. June 30th, 1998. She did it. I don't have. I don't know how, but they are alive. July 11th, 1998. There is something wrong with them. This is my family or something? Bruh. And Christine. That's a doctor, right? What? I am just uh, so utterly confused as to what is happening. Ugh. Okay, let's just look around. Yeah, but this is my family. My kid, maybe, right there, and my wife. July, 20, July 12, 2005. I can't do this anymore. I won't feed them again, but there is one last thing I need to do. Grab rope. Alright, we got a rope. I'm gonna guess just goes to this, put rope. I'm gonna guess it's... End it. This is dark. Oh, that's what we heard in the beginning.
Of the game. A game by Const Constantino de Bellis. Listen, this game was a little bit dark, a little bit weird, but I liked it. it had a story to it. So it sounded like a dude talked to Christine, uh, the doctor, to try to get his family back, and she figured it out, which was the people that were eating off the ground. Then, he didn't like it, because you had to keep feeding them like, random bodies. So he killed Christine, last body, and then, like, hung her up, and then just hung himself, because he was just couldn't deal with it. All right! That was Real Stories from the Grave Volume 1. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys do the YouTube thing, like, comment, subscribe, and show your friends. As always, guys, my name is Johnny, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Drug Dealer Simulator will be uh, continuing in the next couple of days. We are actually going to be redoing my room, so my bed and, like, all the junk and stuff that I have in my in my room, my big-ass beanbag, all that stuff that's going to be coming in here. So this is going to be a cluttered room in the next couple of days. So I'm just going to run through some of these smaller games that kind of... Uh, just to kind of hold off until we can actually sit down and record a longer video. But again, the YouTube stuff. See you guys in the next video. Bye.